All right, here we go. Cream Unicorn Cookie, our latest healer cookie that we finally, uh, you know, got after more than a year of waiting, uh, you know, after Pure Vanilla's release. So here we go. We're going to first uh, do the level up. Running out of EXP Star Jellies. That's crazy. And we're going to do the uh, skill level here. So skill level is going to be increasing the amount of healing. And here we go, guys. Let me read the uh, skill out to you guys because it is pretty interesting. Okay, so the music starts and Cream Unicorn Cookie transforms into a Dreamy Unicorn. The Dreamy Unicorn reduces crit damage received by the team. All right, and charges towards the enemy, silencing them. While silenced, the enemy's skill cooldown will be paused. The dreamy unicorn will leave dancing butterflies behind itself. These butterflies will fly towards the allies and heal them. The amount of healing received depends on the amount of HP lost. Regular healing targets will receive a damage reduction buff. And I believe the regular healing targets, they mean the uh, auto attack heal. All right, so healers... For their auto attack, they heal the cookies and their team. And I believe that auto attack or auto heal that they do is going to be giving them a damage reduction buff. So the silence that uh, Cream Unicorn is going to cause is going to be 1 second. Healing is going to be 1.6% of damage per each 1% of HP lost. And also he is going to be doing healing for 72.8% of the damage. And then crit damage reduction is going to be 17.5% for your cookies and then uh we're having damage reduction as well for uh five percent for 12 seconds which is stackable up to three times maxing out at 15 percent right so um very interesting skill uh something that is going to be very new all right guys so after testing a lot within the arena uh during the live stream and things like that and after ascending him all the way up to two star now I believe that Cream Unicorn Cookie is going to be part of the arena meta as of right now. Uh, so definitely within the world expiration, he does lack a bit of healing because of the fact that his skill is going to be based on the HP that is going to be missing on uh, that particular target who's getting healed. And then of course the world expiration right now, there's a lot of debuffs that are going to decrease the amount of heal. So if you're really comparing him to someone like Kanten, Pomegranate, Pure Vanilla, Herb, uh, his healing is going to be a bit lacking. However, he does shine inside of the arena and he is going to shine and buffing all of your cookies because not only is he healing, but he's also going to be providing that crit resist buff or crit damage reduction buff as well as the damage resist buff uh, up to 15 percentage. And of course, uh, there is that silence portion, which is going to be a big portion within the arena, at least as of right now. And if you guys go to the ranking, a lot of the rankers are actually utilize uh, cream unicorn cookie inside of their team because you know uh, he is going to be good he he really does uh, provide something that has not been provided within the uh, game as of right now uh, so you are going to see him being used within the top ranking uh, at least in the pure vanilla starting right now so there are a couple teams that i've tried out one of them is going to be this team right here financier wallberry uh, espresso vampire as well as cream unicorn another one is actually utilizing dark account instead of wallberry and the last one is going to be uh this team right over here with the summoner comp uh, so i'm going to actually show you every single one of them inside of the battle starting with this team right here with dark account Financier, Espresso, Vampire, and Cream Unicorn. And all of the treasures here are going to be utilizing uh, the Monocle, Scroll, and Jelly Watch. And then for Summoner Comp, instead of the Monocle, it's going to be the Pin Cushion. Uh, first of all, the topping for Cream Unicorn is going to be 5 of the Solid Almond. And you can see that the damage resist as well as cooldown is relatively high. Uh, so it definitely does require a bit of topping upgrading to do. Alright guys, so first of all, here we go. Uh, Wildberry and Financier, uh, Pomegranate on the other team. Team. Let's go and see how well our cream unicorn is going to work. All right, so if you guys look on the uh, on the side here, the people or the cookies that are going to be healed uh, by cream unicorn is going to have extra damage resist buff uh, that is going to get stacked up. Uh, right now, for cream unicorn, actually has three stacks of damage resist uh, buff, which is a total of extra 15%. Uh, because uh, it's 5% per stack. Alright, so, and on top of that, Cream Unicorn is actually auto attacking and healing two individual cookies. So, you know, two cookies are receiving 5% extra damage with this buff. Uh, so, now utilizing someone like Financier and then later on Wildberry and then Cream Unicorn, your cookies are receiving a 
buttload of uh, you know extra damage resist buff on top of whatever they already have. So right now on this here healing uh, for Cream Unicorn is going to be 3.1 a million heal. All right, guys. So you guys are going to be able to see a mirror matchup here against Finisir, uh, Dark Cow, and then we also see a Cream Unicorn on the other side. So here we go, guys. Let's see how well we do. So I did uh, shrink my camera screen to show you guys right here this damage resist buff that Cream Unicorn is getting because he is healing himself, right? So up to three stacks. And then uh, right here, uh, we get the crit damage down or crit damage uh, reduction on our uh, on our financier right here, as well as Dark Cow. We see it on uh, Espresso as well, on pretty much every cookie, right? So as you guys can see right over here, the battle, uh, Cream Unicorn did die. Both on both sides really here uh, are dead because you know, Vampire is just chewing away, right, at the enemy. Uh, so that's really what it's going to come down to, right? Uh, whether your Cream Unicorn can survive and how many times uh, Cream Unicorn is going to be able to cast his spell before he dies from Vampire. And in this particular case, you can see that my Cream Unicorn actually survived and healed a bit more uh, than their uh, Cream Unicorn on the other side. All right, now moving on to the Wildberry uh, team here. So Wildberry is, is also going to be giving damage resist buff 15% to all of your cookies while his skill is active. Financier is giving 20% extra damage resist buff to one of the cookies uh, and herself. And then now Cream Unicorn is also giving 5% per stack to cookies that are healed by his auto attack. So you can see there's a bunch of extra damage resist uh, buff that are being given out throughout the team. So here we go. Let's see how well our guys are going to be able to survive. All right, here we go. So they are actually using Carol Marrow Arrow on the other team. And you guys saw right there the uh, little silence bubble that came out. Uh, that is from the silence caused by uh, Cream Unicorn. And the silence here, it, it prevents... Uh, the usage of skill as well as the cooldown from uh, actually decreasing as well. All right. And both our cream unicorns are gone there. But our wallberry, we do have the crit uh, resist buff as well on that. It's gonna be a little bit close, but I think we are probably gonna lose on this one here, guys. Yeah, so we're gonna lose this battle. Uh, Camera Arrow did a little bit more damage right there. So you can see Camera Arrow doing a bit more damage and, and also Vampire being able to do more damage. Healing wise, uh, we were actually on the losing side on this time because our Cream Unicorn actually did die a bit earlier here. So that's going to cause the healing to be a bit lower. Alright guys, here we go. Uh, another team right here, Wallberry, Espresso, and Vampire against our team here. Let's go. So really right now what the meta comes down to is uh, who is able to, you know, survive longer, who is able to ha provide a bit more healing uh, and uh, keep our cookies alive, right? So I, I, it re that's the reason why Cream Unicorn really fits the style of the meta right now. Okay, so if it wasn't for the silence as well as, uh, you know, the focus of being able to heal a little bit more uh, with the uh, HP loss and then on top of that having that uh, damage resist buff. Uh, Cream Unicorn probably wouldn't have fit in the meta but because he does have that, uh, that's the reason why uh, he's going to be used within the arena at least uh, for this meta. Okay, so right there, we were able to actually beat them. Healing wise, it was actually relatively the same here. Uh, 1.3 million, 1.3 million. All right, guys. So this time around, I'm gonna show you guys the summoner comp here uh, being used with Cream Unicorn Cookie, uh, focusing on our, uh, you know, Crunchy Chip being the main damage dealer here. So let's go. Here we go. So they actually do have a Sorbet on the other team as well with uh, Parfait. Okay, but you can see right here, crit damage buff uh, or damage reduction. Uh, we got extra damage resist buff right here on our crunchy chip. So you, you can really see there's just so much stuff uh, that are being provided by uh, our cream unicorn here. And there we go, just kind of uh, running it down with the summary comp here. So when it comes to heal, content is still going to be doing more because 
once again, content has no restriction, right? When it comes to heal, uh, she just heals up uh, a percentage of whatever she's supposed to heal based on her attack. However, Cream Unicorn really needs to utilize the amount of HP lost. So the majority of the case, Cream Unicorn is still going to do a little bit less healing, especially if the battle doesn't go on for very long. All right, another one here, Financier, uh, Vampire, Cream Unicorn. We're going to try it out with our uh, Summoner Comp and see how it works out. So it seems like it's going to be a Caramel Arrow Financier Espresso, so let's see if we're going to be able to survive here. So kind of stopped Espresso's uh, skill from being used, I think. Could be wrong, but seems like we did with uh, Cream Unicorn's skill, the silence. Right, and it seems like we're actually going to just run it down. <laughs> so there we go. You can see the silence really coming in uh, handy right there, and then also the damage resist buff just uh, allows our cookies to be a lot tankier than the others here. And right here, healing being done. Of course, because we do have the summon units, the healing is going to be a bit more, and then of course we have cotton as well here. And of course, uh, Cream Unicorn did not die on that battle, so... Alright guys, so uh, coming down to the conclusion, um, you know, it's early to say exactly what kind of team and what kind of build is going to be the best for cream unicorn cookie however the fact that you are able to stick him inside of different teams and have it work out allows you to see that he does have potential to be used inside of the meta and of course like i uh, showed you guys earlier within top 100 inside of the pure vanilla server you can already see that the top rankers are already utilizing him inside of the team so with that already shows that he is going to be used inside of a lot of the different teams that are going to to be coming out uh, within the next couple of days after uh, more testings are going to be done and once again the reason why he is going to be a good cookie to be used inside of the arena right now is because of the focus of the meta it's really uh, being able to have your cookie survive a lot longer than the others uh, and then of course that extra silence buff that has been uh, included uh, you know, preventing the cooldown from actually uh, decreasing really allows uh, Cream Unicorn to shine inside of the current meta of the arena. However, if you guys are focusing on the world exploration and you guys are looking for another healer, I wouldn't recommend you use Cream Unicorn Cookie as your main healer, uh, and, but focus on using someone like Pure Vanilla, uh, Herb, or, you know, Katsin and Pomegranate because they are going to do more of a flat rate of a healing rather than utilizing something like an HP loss to do more healing. Uh, but that's really what my conclusion is coming down to as of right now and the first impression slash review of Cream Unicorn Cookie after uh, his release. Uh, but I'll have to say for the arena meta, all right, if you guys are interested in the arena meta, PvP meta, then he is going to be used. And I will share more uh, builds as well as teams that are going to be uh, coming out uh, in the next couple of days utilizing Cream Unicorn Cookie. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys found the video helpful. If you guys did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. I will be going live uh, more often uh, to share more builds, uh, to share more information with you guys, as well as to help you guys out. So make sure to hit that notification to be notified when I do go live. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys all on the next one.